Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome to another day in my countdown series. And uh, just think, every time you watch one of these videos, that puts us just one day closer to the release of Call of Duty Black Ops. But uh, today I'm playing some Modern Warfare 2, playing some Team Deathmatch on Invasion. And uh, the team we were playing, you know, I'm on friends only communications, but uh, my friends told me that the other team was a little mouthy during the uh, previous game so I decided I was just gonna run around this game with my pistol only and uh, turned out to be a pretty good game I'm gonna pretty much use the pistol as my main weapon the entire game I think I pick up somebody's sniper rifle once and shoot one or two guys with it but the rest of my kills I shoot them with my pistol but uh, that's kinda what I wanted to talk to you guys today a little bit about is the pistol list for Call of Duty Black Ops. The pistols have been released for quite a while and uh, I just wanted to run through that really quick. I know you guys are probably thinking, you know, you can find this information on a lot of different websites out there. That is very true. That is exactly where I get my information. But I just put it all in one neat little place for you. And uh, first thing I want to say, I've heard about pistols. Don't know if it's true. I've heard the pistols are very weak in this game so it'll be interesting to see just how strong these things are especially with uh, last last stand being a big factor in this game it'll be interesting to see just how strong these pistols are but let's get on to the list here the first pistol on the list is the good old Colt M1911 and this thing has been with us through every single Call of Duty game it is the only pistol that is returning from the Call of Duty series so it is good to have the old Colt 1911 back and uh, I'm sure it will be probably the default pistol that you get when you first start the game it usually is uh, you will be able to have attachments for your pistols I don't know if the same attachments will be available for every pistol but uh, the attachments I have listed for the M1911 are extended mags the suppressor dual wielding and then upgraded iron sights uh, those will drastically different, be different from the second pistol I have on the list, which is the Colt Python 357 Magnum. Now, the, the Magnum you're going to be able to use with a snub nose, a, a dual wielding feature, the ACOG scope, speed reloader, and upgraded iron sights. Now, I don't know if the ACOG is going to be available on all pistols. So far, the Python is the only pistol I've seen the ACOG associated with and also the speed reloader will also be only associated with the Python as well as the snub nose feature now the snub nose is an interesting attachment and I have I really wonder why they chose this um, they're claiming it will increase your accuracy but will decrease your damage uh, damage is exactly what you want to keep increased not decrease it but uh, accuracy could possibly be increased with a snub nose at short range however at a distance you're going to lose accuracy that's why on a lot of your big bore handguns you'll actually have a longer barrel um, like I used to own a Ruger Red Hawk uh, 44 Magnum and it actually had a seven and a half inch barrel on this thing and uh, you could definitely be pretty accurate at a hundred yards with it however if it would have only had a short barrel it would have not been as accurate. Uh, I don't understand their logic for putting a snub nose on it. I guess we'll just have to see how it plays in the game. Because as we know, game variations don't often imitate their real life counterparts. The next pistol on the list is the Makarov. And this thing is basically the standard Russian military issue sidearm. Uh, the only information I have on it is that you can dual wield it. And that is because we did see it in... Uh, some of the trailers that they have released. The next pistol that I have on the list for you today is the ASP. Now this thing is basically a reworked and advanced version of a Smith & Wesson Model 39. Uh, if you see this gun, it, and I hope that the, the game version at least resembles the real life one, it's a really unique looking weapon. It does not have regular grips on it. It actually has Lexan, which is clear it's a type of clear plastic and you can actually see inside the grips from both sides and see exactly how much ammunition you have left and that's that's pretty cool 
Uh, other things that make it a little unique as far as just the design it has a rounded hammer so it doesn't snag on your clothing and things like a regular pistol hammer could possibly do and it actually has no front sight so it'll be interesting to see how you aim with this thing. Uh, I have no idea what attachments will be available for this in the game. We'll just have to wait and see. And one final handgun will round out the set. That is the CZ-75. This is a Czech Republic made handgun produced in the early 70s and it's actually one of the very first high capacity 9mm handguns that was made. And uh, the unique thing about it is you can actually take an extra magazine and attach it to the underside of the barrel right in front of the trigger and it can act as a grip. And the reason you would need that is because you can actually full auto this weapon. Um, so that will be an attachment. I have seen that listed in one of the trailers that uh, you can actually use this thing full auto. So I imagine that we'll be able to use this thing basically like a Glock in uh, Modern Warfare 2 here and it'll be interesting to see if uh, dual wield is an actual option for it as well but that is it that is the list of pistols for Call of Duty Black Ops and I am finished with this game running around with my pistol I go 24 and 6 I hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to rate the video leave comments and if you're not already please subscribe and I will see you tomorrow for another video in the countdown you guys have a good one